You want to know what's crazy? The higher up we go, like when we fly in a plane, the colder it gets. Yet we're closer to the supposed heat source of the Earth, which is the sun. Now, we know that the closer you get to a heat source, the warmer it is. If there's a heat lamp 10 feet away from me and I start getting closer to it, the warmer it will get. Yet at an altitude of about 35,000 feet, it's about minus 40 outside. Much colder than the surface of the Earth. And the same goes for the bottom of the oceans. So I always like to ask the question when I watch videos like that, what is this guy's point? Like, What is his metaphysic? What is, what is he saying is the reality then? So I, I noticed he said the supposed heat source of the Earth, the sun. So ah. do you think that the sun is not the heat source of the Earth? Then what is it? He's also saying that the Earth is not the heat source, right? He's trying to say that the center of the Earth is hot and it should be, then why does it get colder when we go closer to it by going deep into the water? Um, so what's he saying? So what, what does he think reality is? You know, uh, And if you read the comments, which is always a dubious thing to do with yeah. videos like that, um, is you know a lot of people are like, yeah, don't believe anything. The firmament, whatever. They just throw out shit like, you know, but, but what? But what are you saying is the reality? Because they don't have a coherent you know, idea. But anyway... It is a good jumping off point to talk about why that is, you know, why it is. I know he's dismissing all like, oh, people are going to say I don't understand science. That's because you don't, dude. Um, but let's talk about that for a little bit. Why does it get colder as you go up higher in the atmosphere? There's actually several reasons. I mean, one, one reason is that as you go higher, air pressure is decreasing. Right, that, that's kind of a no-brainer. Air pressure is decreasing. So therefore, because it's decreasing, you have that unit of energy is taking up more space. It's spreading out, so it cools. That's just a common a As common air phenomenon. expands, it cools. It cools, exactly. I mean, blow out, blow out from your mouth. It, yeah. As, as that air is expanding, it's cooling. It's cooling. So Do so, <sighs> versus... Exactly. So, right. so Superman could have super, super cold breath, I guess, by, by using <laughs> that technique. But how about this little, little bit of information? As you go into the stratosphere, it actually gets warmer yeah. because the UV light is hitting the stratosphere, and that's, and that's increasing the temperature. So, so the, how would he explain that? The temperature only goes down in the troposphere. Troposphere, the lowest layer. Right. That's where we live. But then you get to the stratosphere, and it increases because yep. of the ozone is now trapping U more heat. UV, yeah, UV is implicated right. in there. Then so, yeah. you get to the next one. One, which is what the mesosphere is it or is it exosphere no exosphere is the last it's beyond one. and the, and temperatures go down again but then you get to the thermosphere where it gets really hot it can get to hundreds thousands of degrees in the thermosphere but it still feels cold because there's a difference between right. temperature and heat right so temperature is essentially the average amount of movement of each air molecule but if you have very few air molecules, even if each individual one's moving a lot, that's very little heat. And if you're so, if you were in the thermosphere and it's a thousand degrees and you feel cold because there isn't a lot of air to transfer heat to your right. body, but you'll still be rating away heat, so you will feel cold. Just like in space, if you're in space, it could be really hot if the sun's directly you know beaming on you right yeah but without of, that it's freezing because there's because there's no air to transfer heat to you um, like the corona of the sun is, is yeah. similar it's got a very very high temperature like crazy high millions of degrees but right. very low heat right right but the other thing about what the guy's saying is doesn't it get hotter when you get closer to a heat source yeah that's why mercury's really hot that's why lead will melt on the surface of mercury that's why Venus, also hotter than the Earth, there's also the greenhouse, runaway greenhouse gas effect there. Then the Earth is, is warmer than Mars, and then the outer planets are cold, and Pluto is an ice ball, right? So as planets get closer and farther from the sun, they get warmer. The closer planets are warmer, the farther planets are cooler. The, the difference in distance to the sun, assuming like it's noon and you're going straight up, um, which is another thing, you know, you're not always necessarily going towards the sun when you're going up in the atmosphere, uh, depending on where you are. But let's say yeah. even if you are, it's insignificant. It's like 90, what is it, 93 million miles yeah, away, average, plus or yeah. minus one mile. It's insignificant. So, no, you shouldn't expect to get warmer just because you're getting hundreds or thousands of feet or even miles closer to something which is 93 million miles away. So that's just silly. Now let's go in the other direction. Why does it get colder when you go d 
deeper into the ocean, despite the fact that you're getting closer, again, insignificantly, to the center of the Earth? That's a very simple answer to that question, because cold water is heavier than warmer water, right? So cold water sinks. So th and it, it's heavier until you get to about three to four degrees Celsius. It depends on salinity, right? So it, it's variable. But at that point, the water begins like to crystallize, and so it gets lighter. And so that's why ice floats. So at the bottom of the ocean, it's going to be that, you know, two, three, four degrees Celsius because whatever the, the temperature is of water when it's at the heaviest. That's it. Water, water, cooler water is relatively heavier than relatively warmer water. Same thing with air. People say, what well, heat rises? Heat does not rise. Heat has no in, inherent tendency to move toward or away any gravitational field. Warmer air is relatively lighter than cooler air. So warmer air will move above cooler air, but heat itself just goes in, radiates or conducts in all directions equally. Right. So yeah, this guy just does in physics. He just doesn't understand what's going on. But what's you know, that, which is in and of itself is like okay, you, not everybody necessarily knows off the top of their head about the troposphere and the thermosphere or whatever. But you can find this information. You can, it's pretty much readily available. Um, but also, it's not that he's ignorant. It's that he then, it's the logic he's using. Like, this doesn't make sense to me. Therefore, we can't trust scientists. We can't trust the powers that be. Because, That's my take. That's yeah, what he was saying. Like, yeah, because I don't understand this. They're wrong. Or maybe you just don't understand it. How about that? Maybe you don't understand the science. That's a far simpler explanation. Uh, but it is always interesting to start with that and then say, well, what, is the, what, is, what does science actually say? What do we know about this? And it actually makes perfect sense once you actually understand even a little bit of the science.